Hi guys. So I know I literally just made my three part thing about Gary Lewis, but I found out that there were some things that I got, a couple things that I didn't mention that I said I was going to mention and different things that I got a little bit wrong, different things like that. So I'm just going to get right into it because I don't want this to be a super long video. Um, and so basically we are going to start with, um, your just general little things. Mostly now we're gonna you know, we're gonna start early on, you know, what what we got wrong early on or what I got wrong early on. Um, the only thing really was that I'm pretty sure Sweet Little Rock and Roller is a Gary solo vocal and not a Gary and Ron together, although I could be wrong. Um, but at least to my ears, I think that's also a Gary solo vocal. Um and yeah, that's pretty much what I think for that. Um Another thing is that for this album, Everybody Loves a Clown, I don't think it's Gary on drums on I Gotta Find Cupid, so that's basically would leave the only tracks that have Gary on drums are Everybody Loves a Clown, Tossin' and Turnin' and Time Stand Still, which also basically means that those are the only three tracks that have Dave Walker on them. That's what I think. Um, just because Dave Walker left literally right after the Everybody Loves a Clown single came out, so, that would really explain, you know, why Keltner was there for mm, the majority of the album. So, I'm assuming Tossing and Turning was probably done at the same session as the Everybody Loves a Clown single. Um, after that, uh, just some general things that I kind of just screwed up on, um, throughout the whole thing. Um... I got mostly everything right, uh, in the early part. Oh, when this diamond ring was, uh, March, not February, uh, I just got that off by a month. Got a couple of things off by just, like, a very little amount of time. Uh, and I don't think I said the release date of Everybody Loves the Clown. That came out in November 65, the album, not the single. Um, the single came out in August, same time as, uh, Session With. Uh, Hits Again came out in May of 66. I talked about Golden Grades that came out in October 66. I'll pay me a picture of January 67. One thing I did get wrong about New Directions was it was put out in June, not May. Listen was put out in October. Um, Gary Lewis and the Playboys now. I, th I think I said May. It's June. Um, More Golden Grades came out in September of 68. Um, Close cover, February 69. Um... Rhythm of the Rain and Hayride, August of 69. Rhythm, the Sunset compilation, came out in October 69. There was no exact release date for the first Sunset album, just the self-titled one. Uh, it just says sometime in 67. And I'm on the Right Road Now came out in February of 1970. Um, so, another thing, there's I found out a lot about Sugar Gonna Miss Her on this. Uh... And I can read between the lines as well. Uh, indeed, Gary is not on drums on any version of Sure Gonna Miss Her or Her. Sure Gonna Miss Her or on I Can Read Between the Lines. It's Keltner. Uh, I listened to it again with some fresh ears and some new knowledge that I got from the Wrecking Crew Facebook page. Um, and I do believe it's Keltner on the alternate version of Sure Gonna Miss Her, the single version of Sure Gonna Miss Her, and I Can Read Between the Lines. So I said Gary was on drums on those, but I believe it is Keltner. Um, that's just a little thing you can kind of make a side note of. Um, and also around this time period, like I said, Jim Carstein was a new member around the time of this album. And the first thing that he did with the group was, I think, uh, Annette Sullivan appearance doing She's Just My Style and You're Gonna Miss Her, which he does not play in those songs, but, you know, he was, you know. Um, and... He also did this little thing, I, I guess, I'm, I think it was filmed in Chicago, uh, called An Evening with Gary Lewis and the Playboys, which was, I believe, recorded, like, March, uh, March 22nd, somewhere around there, March, April of 66, and that was really, you know, like, one of his first things with the band, um, and, uh, yeah, and again, he had not played on any recordings yet, because he had literally just joined the band, 
Um, but it's a really funny little half hour of just, you know, Gary kind of screwing around and, you know, he's got this girl that he, it, it's wild. It, you can find it on Facebook, just look up an evening with Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Um, I don't really know. There's this thing that goes on with it where there's like some like audio cutouts for some devices and some devices you can hear the audio on the songs, but like on the talking you can hear the audio on any device. I don't I don't get the whole point of that or the whole thing that's going on with that. Also, Gary and the Playboys start in a oh, the 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 and the Playboys line up at the time of the Bye Bye Birdie thing that I'm going to talk about right now were Gary, uh, Jim Carstein, John West, Tom Tipperhorn, and Carl Riedel. Um, they, they were starting this Bye Bye Birdie thing, and Gary was the main actor, and I'm assuming the Playboys would just use his extras. But Gary's last, well, not second to last, because he we performed Main Street later on on Ed Sullivan, but his last Ed Sullivan appearance before he went into the service, um, Gary and the guys went on, and there's this whole Bye Bye Gary thing in the background in, because of Bye Bye Birdie. And they actually performed, I'm pretty sure, live, um, one of the songs that they did in the, in the play. Um, and, I mean, I guess. It's pretty cool, but I haven't seen it. Um, I have not seen any footage of that song live on Ed Sullivan. I have not seen any footage of that Ed Sullivan show thing ever besides, uh, a little bit, a little bit of this diamond ring, which they lip synced, and I have also not seen any footage of Bye Bye Birdie, but there is a newspaper article that states that they were a part of it, and it's pretty funny. It's got a funny picture of them, and it's pretty great. Um, other than that, I don't think I uh, screwed up anything. Uh, Al Ramsey has passed away. I don't know if I said that in the video, um, and of course you know Carl Radel was later with Clapton. Delaney and Bonnie, and I, I don't know if I stated that, but he's a pretty well-known musician. Um, Jim Keltner, or bleh, Jim Carstein later played with J.J. Cal. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I can say. Um, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, Oh, and track three, I didn't even name the song here on Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Now track three is What Am I Gonna Do? I didn't state that. I'm sure you probably all figured that out. But, um, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else. I think I got everything now. Um, but again, if there's anything that I'm missing and I have enough to make another video kind of short like this, once I build up enough material to do another one like this, I will do it. Uh, this is just stuff that I really wanted to get out before people went out and, you know, saw the other ones and said, oh, yeah, this is, you know, I wanted to get all this out before, you know. Okay. So I'm going to leave this one at that. This was a short one. You just kind of a catch up or kind of like a, uh, you know, a, kind of like a fill in kind of thing. I don't know what I'm going to title this, but um, yeah, that's just some little basic stuff that I kind of forgot throughout the whole catalog. So thank you.